And so this is my next project. I'm going to take this 8 by 12 area of my shed that I used to park the lawnmower under and I'm going to convert it to a heated greenhouse. So this is my 10 foot by 10 foot area of the greenhouse. I uh, pretty much plasticed off and put a heater in and the purpose of it was to grow throughout the winter. It's done a fairly good job. Things are really cramped in here, but it's done a fairly good job. First thing we gotta do is clean out this mess. We are getting there. Looks much better. Well, I had grapevines growing up. Uh, <clears throat> those uh, trellises, well it's not really a trellis, it's a cover, but uh, it was a big tangly mess. I'm starting to pile it up over there and I'm going to burn it, but I don't want to lose my grapes. So I think I'm going to move them. The two main sources are right here. I got a Concord there and some kind of white grape over there. And I think I'm just going to move them over there. Okay, I removed this back wall trellis. And uh, you can see here, this is one Concord grapevine. It's pretty good size. Comes up and over there. And then the seeded wipe, whatever flavor it is, has four major vines stretching out over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create three rows of grapes. Two doubles here for the white. And then off here, I'm gonna go this way with it and leave enough area to ride around it with the mower and the other grapes back there. Well, it's the end of the day. It's been a long, productive day. I got all the uh, old trellis off there. It's not a trellis, can't think of what the crap is called. My brain's not working too good today. But I've got the grapevines that I told you I was going to do. These are temporary for now. And uh, they're in my backyard. They're vines. They're grapevines. So is this a vineyard? <laughs> a mini vineyard I just made. Anyway, um, that should do it. And it'll get it off of the new heated area, which will go in there. This is for Keith. This is a Cub Cadet RZT50 zero turn mower and it is known to have leak problems at the oil drain area. So here's what I did to get you in close so you can see that metal piece there clamped on with some fuel line to a valve and the valve goes down through the hole where it drains into a pan whenever I turn the Pico. Peacock, whatever you want to call the dang thing.